Today I bring the video for uh, AHU AHU in Edgeback how to read the lines in AHU and how to understand the things. So I have to cover what were the things I will tell you. So I have to cover this line as well. And this is a smoke extract fan. How why we stall to the smoke extract fan in the uh, in the project I will tell you. And I have to cover as well installation of the one AHU is here you can see here this is AHU zoom this one so see this is AHU supply and return so I have to cover this all the things in AHU supply and return and diffusers and as well as smokes smoke extract fan so this is a project and how to read to the AHU as you are trying in the autocad in the site it outed right so I have to come from here start from here to this smartphone so this is a plan basically this is a plan so you can see here this is a plan this is a huge project very huge project and whenever we have a big project or big big plan so we providing to the small extract fan smoke extract fan what is the function for a smoke extract fan i will tell you first of all basically smoke extract fan we or we are stalling into the big projects and we have our you know huge buildings sites so we are providing this for as per nfpa as per nfpa and as per hra we need to the stall to the smoke extract fan in case of building a fire so this this you know will be smoky on this one so all equipment will be shut down and, uh, and you know firefighting or fire sprinkler work it and the smoky you know this whole building will be smoky so at that time this is smoke struck and work only whenever whenever you know you have uh, whenever the fire in the buildings and after that there is smoky all the system will be shut down automatically uh, by the BMS and the smoke fan smoke extract fan will be run and eliminate the, all the smoke from, from the building so we providing to the smoke extract fan on the roof so this is a basically function for smoke extract fan so since this is a smoke extract fan is going up by this this is dotted line this is opening of mechanicals shaft so it will be smoke extract from here this is architecturally plan basically you can see this is a uh, uh, you see this is plus 0.22 finish floor level or finish grade level and this is approximate uh, 1101 as per contours or as per survey they give into the, this elevation and we are going to considering 0.22 this is for finish floor level this is northern eastern so we know the north industry coordinate system so basically this is this is a staircase we can go up from here so this is 0.45 because we are considered this is 00, zero. But we are considered 0.22 this this you know my this level so we are considered 0.22 so this is 0.45 here maybe the steps here after that it comes 0.45 and this is 0.25 this is above from here from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 after 10 blocks in the steps so I hope you understand the smoke step one what is the function for the smoke step one and I have to cover this edge I told you this is HU generally you know it is called V here so what is the size of HU here I will tell you so this is our mechanical shaft this is coming here so we are coming on this this one so this is HU area units number 4 is coming here by the shaft supply this is a return line so this is coxing at 1000 CFM 1000 CFM means we have a 25 ton HU supply and return that is stored because you know 400 CFM equal to the 1 ton as you calculate this one so it will become to the coxing at uh, 25 tons so this is as per the duct calculator we when we have the 10,000 CFM passing, so it will become the duct size is 15 for 15, 55 by 8, uh, 18 inch as per the this one. The supply in return will be same. I told you HU before in previous uh, previous videos. Air handling unit basically 25% will be take the fresh air and 75% will be take from the buildings. So that's why we are providing to the return return in the HU so we have to start from here you can see here 
we could do so so the chart is coming here the chart is coming back so this is return is going here you know so return is going here this means this this is a bell mouth bell mouth is opening so it's above the ceiling so it will automatically come the air by the by the edge you will be struck this it will, it will be exhausted and taken the machine so no need for ducting the wall this is above the ceiling it should leave the bell mouth so supply we need to everywhere so this is coming here so volume damper installed here this is supply girl so this is see here this is we providing a as well supply here so this is approximate as this is ceiling uh, sorry uh, ceiling diffuser is provided here supply ceiling diffuser 14 by uh, 14 inch by 14 inch 300 cfm and return will be or return ceiling grill will be 14 by 14 the same so return will be here so you can see here supply is here so after that is going here so this volume damper for balancing purpose and this is same like that supply here you can see here this is going here supply this is a translator room like that mentioned here this is written here so for 700 cf we providing here 350 by 350 so return will be go to the up and then go to the bell mouth automatically so 700 cf we take the return and supply supply and supply here and volume damper as well we provide here so this is approximately 350 by those googles we provided here this is same like that volume damper in this one this is photocopy in file room this is same like that supply to supply we given to the 14 inch 14 inch as per the AGU duct calculator when the 350 700 CFM the past will be 18 by 8 and the 350 by 18 by 5 as per the AGU calculator duct calculator ok this is return this is volume damper you can see here so this is here this is this is 6 uh, supply grill diffusers 14 inch 14 inch each 200 so this is here 6 will be stored here so we give to the one time this is a postgraduate student development area so we are not talking about that we are talking about this is ceiling see this is ceiling you know ceiling this is the slot we provide like that this is vertical this is vertical will be like that and this is you know return this is return we go to the ceiling and that will the you know, it will go to the it will be go to the bell mouth to the returns so this is 300 by 300 ceiling provided here so this is like that in architecturally we need to the ceiling provide like that in section return you can see you can imagine how this will be supplying here this is vertical basically this is horizontal all horizontal so this is the three that's 30 by 10 inch and this is supply here supply here this is supply here so that's supply here so hope you understand this is trying how you get that right for AQ, AQ installation and AQ ducts, AQ AQ ducts installation, understand it. So this is one example. You can see here. And this is a smoke extraction. And remind you, the smoke extraction only work when it will be smoke in the buildings of the fire it will be not run even in 10 years 5 years no no fire or like that even in the never fire will not work but it must be installed as per the nfba and as per the ashray we need to install so that a function for uh, smoke smoke fans hope you enjoyed this video this is architectural plan we go to the gray and magenta color showing to the hu uh, hvsq ducting So we will bring the this type of uh, this type of type uh, this type of the videos for you. So you will understand the ducting layout. You will understand the more functions. Maybe I will get to the more function into the other drawing. So I will explain it. So keep watching my my videos. So don't forget. I will cover as well. This is toilet area. And so this is exhaust in toilet fan because this is exhaust we provide to the inline exhaust fan here so how much the size the exhaust fan we did not mention here so in the above roof they are mentioned like that so we ducting like that you know we have to put a ducting 
and the team size as well not mentioned in maybe other brand we will show in their gear so it is exhausted maybe 30 cfm 30 cfm or 15 cfm 50 cfm 50 cfm 50 cfm for example we are keep the 20 15 15 15 50 15 30 60 60 or 20 80 80 cfm maybe 80 cfm exhaust fan is enough for this this is inline exhaust fan so how the inline exhaust fan we install this one you can see in my video inline exhaust fan installation and actual details so you can see the, how the side is installed to the exhaust fan for this hope you enjoyed this video thank you keep watching bye bye so friendly kindly subscribe my channel if you did not subscribe thank you bye bye